The point I'd like to get at here, and Azar, I'm going to turn to you first on this, is you do this as for a living. Uh, you make points. You make cultural, political, uh, you know, uh, religious, in some cases, points through humor. Why do you choose to do that? Is it a good avenue for doing that sort of thing? Uh, in my view, comedy is its own language. Um, you know, I'm reminded often of a wonderful quote. You probably have never heard it. Uh, by Sir Peter Ustinov, <laughs> who is a British humorist. And uh, Sir Peter Ustinov once famously remarked, comedy is simply a funny way of being serious. And uh, I think there's a lot of truth in that. It's also been said that much truth is said in jest. Um, the fact of the matter is comedy often gives us uh, a vehicle to address some of the heaviest subject matter that we can't otherwise address in a constructive manner. Why? Why does it give you that vehicle? Uh, is it that's set a good you question. free in some way? Uh, I think that in some ways it does. I mean, it's been said again, uh, uh, maybe this doesn't answer your question, but it's been said that the only two people who can really speak truth to power, who can tell the emperor they're not wearing any clothes, are comedians and poets. Everybody else gets their head chopped off. And uh, so there is something about, um, you know, comedy and humor uh, allowing people to let their guard down. Uh, it, probably it also has to do with uh, something that I've heard Ibu say once before, uh, which is that when you're laughing, you can't hate. You know, so there's this idea that people, uh, whatever is they have a heightened sensitivity about, suddenly when they, when they're coming, when, when they're finding themselves in a humorous context, they can let their guard down, they can relax, and perhaps find themselves to be more perceptive and more receptive to uh, information and ideas they would otherwise be very resistant to. Let me turn to Kareem Salama in uh, California. You're a songwriter. Uh, you presumably send these messages uh, through your music. Why do you choose to do it that way? Why don't you choose to make speeches or whatever? Why, why and how do you do it through music? Well, I, I, I write music because I write music, but I think that the, uh, the, great, the great thing about an artist is that artists are trusted, and um, at least where I'm from, a lot of people don't trust the talking heads that they see on on television they don't trust the people that a lot of the muslim people that speak from organizations even though i believe they're trustworthy a lot of people just don't trust them because they think they have an agenda an artist well for the most part people people typically think of them as people that don't have an agenda and people who speak from their heart and and i think that that's why um it's an, it's important because even if you're speaking truth if people don't trust what you're saying it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference